The Case of the Missing Trophy, Chapter 9, Crime Scene Clues. The mystery solving squad was waiting for Cameron when he got to school. Let's go straight to the library, Cameron said. Lining the school's library wall were, his, were historical photographs about the school from the day it opened in 1940. Cameron had never really looked that closely at the pictures before, but he knew that if the Newton Club had started their club at the school, their picture would be on the wall. Jesse, you and Miguel start over there with all of the walls of with that wall of photographs, Cameron said. And Taran and I will meet. We'll check out the ones on this wall. We'll meet in the center. Cameron looked carefully at each photograph. Sometimes people didn't look anything like their pictures. None of the men were dressed like cowboys. They all had on dark blue and black suits. Suddenly Cameron stopped at a in front of a large gold framed photograph. There was a photo of a cowboy. His name was Felix Evans III. Underneath his name was the label that read scientist, philanthropist, and following member of the Newton Club. Hey everyone, come over here, Cameron said. Here he is. You can even see his ring. It's got the big N in the center, and it says he's a founding member of the Newton Club. That's the group my mom told me about. So now we finally know his name. Taran said, Felix Evans III. Now we can tell Mr. Garcia, Jesse said. We need to hurry up, Turan said. The morning bell will ring soon. I don't want to be late for class. The mystery solving squad hurried to their classroom. They barely sat down in class before Cameron heard their names called over the intercom. Cameron Thompson, Miguel Alvarez, Jesse Rivas, and Turan Johnson. Please come to the office. Miss Nunn said, go ahead. The mystery solving squad hurried to the principal's office. When they got there, Cameron saw his dad, Detective Richard Thompson, talking with Mr. Garcia. Hi, Dad, Cameron said. What are you doing here? Hi, son. Hi, kids, Detective Thompson said. Your mom told me you were working on a big case. I came to see if I could help. Cameron explains everything that he that had happened to on the case. Then he showed his father the flyer he posted in the office. We found out this morning that his name is Felix Evans III, Cameron said. His ring is a symbol for the Newton Club. He's the founder. Now I remember, Mr. Garcia said. Mr. Evans' family donated the case where the science fair trophy was displayed. Let's go down to the scene of the crime, Detective Thompson said. They all walked down to the display case. Look, Cameron said, pointing to the plaque underneath the display case. It says, donated by the Evans family, 1965. If he donated the display case, maybe he has one of the keys, Miguel said. That's possible, Detective Thompson said. We think Mr. Evans took the trophy out of the case and then used Mr. Murray's dolly to take it down the hall and out the back door, Cameron said. We found black tread marks in front of the trophy case, Tran explained. Mr. Garcia, I think the kids are onto something, Detective Thompson said. Do you know how we can get in touch with Mr. Evans? Yes, I have his contact information, Mr. Garcia said. He's always been a big supporter of Pecan Springs and the science fair, but he's been in poor health over the last few years and hasn't visited the school for a while. That's why I couldn't remember where I've seen his face on your flyer. Do you think he'd take the trophy, Detective Thompson asked? No, I'm sure Mr. Evans wouldn't steal anything, Mr. Garcia said. He's a millionaire. He could buy all the trophies in Austin. Why would he sneak into an elementary school and steal ours? Well, the only way to find out is to ask him, Detective Thompson said. Let's pay him a visit. I'll go with you, Mr. Garcia said. Can we go, Dad? Cameron asked. It's our case. We always, you always say a detective should stick with his case. Son, said Detective Thompson, it's up to Mr. Garcia. I don't mind, but Mr. Garcia is the principal and you're at school. Mr. Garcia turned to Miguel, Jesse, and Turan. If you can get permission from your parents while I look up Mr. Evans' address, you can go, Mr. Garcia said as he went into his office. Miguel, Jesse, and Turan rushed to the phone to call their parents. You must be tired, son, Detective Thompson said with a smile. All this detective work keeping you up with your school assignments and entering the science fair? You've done a great job on this case. I'm proud of you. Thanks, Dad, Cameron said. I learned everything about being a detective from you. And Mom's been a big help, too. I just hope we can solve this case today.